Hey guys, it's Ross Gotten on the Space Coach today. Going to have a look at this British Empire adventure stories. And they see a red coat there. That looks to be India from the, um, the background there. And you see a tattered Union flag. Saw this in a charity shop for $4.99. Didn't pick it up. Thought, oh, if it's still there next time I go, then I was meant to have it. It was still there. So I was meant to have it. So I picked up the next time I went. And there's three different stories. You see them there. So, The Man Who Would Be King by Rudyard Kipling. Rudyard Kipling's enthralling adventure follows two former soldiers who set out from British India to establish themselves as kings in the war-torn mountain state of, uh, where is it, Kafiristan. But after many desperate um, hurdles, these plans begin to come unstuck. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. King Solomon's Mines. Sir Henry Ryder Hackett's story uh, features three adventures on the trail of the fabulous um, treasures of King Solomon's Mines. Chucking across deserts, climbing mountains, hacking their way through jungles and fighting for their lives in a tribal war along the way. <laughs> and then with Clive in India, and that's the one that I'm reading at the moment. See, it's very thick. G. A. Henry tells the story of Charles Marriott, who goes to India, excuse me, Charlie Marriott, who goes to India as a writer with the East India Company. Oh dear. After escaping, um, <clears throat> excuse me, privateers and pirates, he lands in Madras, eventually encountering Robert Clive, surviving the uh, siege of Arcot, helping a friendly state defend against French attacks, and even enduring the Black Hole of Calcutta before bravely throwing himself into the fray at the Battle of Plassey, which is where control of India was determined. British beat the French for the next 190 years. Britain was in charge of India. So, yes, like I said, I'm reading Clive in India. It's very much of its times, shall we say, in the use of its language and how it describes the um, native inhabitants of the various lands that uh, Britain had conquered to that point. How they were tamed by their bullets and all that sort of thing. And obsequious behaviour um, by the locals who see the stronger figure and ally themselves with that and then pledge themselves on dying to them, you know, all the usual sort of empire tropes that you would expect. And like I say, um, King Solomon's Mines, I uh, don't know if I've read it before. I've certainly seen the uh, the movies that was in the 60s, 70s, 80s, whenever it was, with Richard Chamberlain. And I'm sure there's an earlier version as well. So, yes, British Empire adventure stories. Come at me in the comments. <laughs> Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment and suggestion for what kind of topic you'd like to see discussed. Or like the video.